Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government-controlled 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up in any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the BitCot No Government License. Cell 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at Get getcell411.com that's getcell411.com the central scrutinizer is a soviet style leviathan trying to keep track of all you do that's why i use a vpn or virtual private network from bola vpn bola vpn is inexpensive secure and will allow you to use your computer without leaving a trail bola vpn is now also offering torrent seed boxes for safely sharing media with the world and if you open a support ticket saying you heard about them from the Freedom Fiends, they'll add three extra days free. That's Bola VPN at B O L E H VPN dot net. Okay, the we're going to invest your resources. Yeah, the government. But don't power. you even think about using it? Absolutely not. Yeah. And get your paws, get your paws out of the cookie jar. Absolutely not. We are just some modern day abolitionists looking to rid the world of the last vestige of slavery, statism. It's the Seeds of Liberty podcast with Andre, Dave, and Jeremy. Hello. Everybody and welcome to the 126th episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. As always, we are covered by a BitCot No Government License. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can learn more about this. Thank you, Ethiopia. At BitCot.org. Started you need to start keeping track of those, Dave, so you don't uh, do any duplicates. Um, anyway, so uh, we are back. I am Jeremy, joined as always by Dave and Andre. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, man? What is up? Uh, Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, as, yeah, uh, yeah. Has it hit five grand yet? Oh, I it was it was well it's over five grand last year. So yeah, as, fifty-four. Holy shit! Yeah, uh, currently uh, uh, at uh, seven thirty p.m. It is. 55. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was going to say, at, at the time of this recording, I, I got 54.45, which is the top because I think I Kraken. Yeah, I got uh, the Kraken uh, exchange. Hot damn. Um, so, yeah, it is. Uh, I think this is going to stop around 8K. I don't know, man. I've uh, I've heard a lot of different speculations about that. Of course, uh, I saw I saw already. I think uh, I think Virgil Viduva posted it that Peter Schiff is already doubling down or at this point quadrupling what's what's times 50 i don't even know what he's up to at this point and trying to be like oh it's a bubble it's rising again it's like yes peter this is the longest this is the longest bubble in the history of the world and you just oh that guy so smart about is so many just, things is it just because he's like so heavily invested into precious metals is that why i have to keeps... believe that because he's not a dumb he, like he's a smart guy well, he's, he's, not, he's wrong. not he's not a dumb guy He's not wrong, but he also is playing a game. Like it's his. Well, angle. yeah. I mean, yeah. There is a there, there. I mean, to a certain extent, yes. There is a bubble right now, but it's not like he just thinks like he keeps preaching it that it's it, it, that it's has no value whatsoever. Uh, oh yeah, and that's what that's what I, that's what I'm trying to figure out because like at some point. You know, at some point, you're going to have to admit that you're wrong. Either you're going to have to admit that you're wrong, or you're just going to look like you're just going to look silly. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I, I finally listened to the the last the last time he was on Rogan, uh, which was I, I I know it was like at least a month after the fact that I finally got to listen to it, and when it, when I everything I was ex, I was expecting it because I had heard enough people talk about it. And sure enough, when he gets to that when he when they get to the point they end up talking about Bitcoin, he he seems to have the same talking points every time, and it's like he completely ignores the fact that people are using this currently as a medium of exchange. This is not just a store of value thing that people are using it for. Like people are actually using this regularly to make purchases. But he like every time I hear him talk about this, he manages to leave that out. 
it's like he wants to completely ignore that 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 well, part of the are, crypto world exists. Other than well, other if than people are divesting any extra capital into not inflating the gold price, it's not good for him, right? Well, that's well. I mean, he seem. I mean, he might be pretty screwed at currently because I mean, his his entire co- corporation I think got wiped out in Puerto Rico with the with the latest uh, hurricane, right? <laughs> Because he had just, that was the other thing that he talked about in that show with Rogan, that he had just moved, like in the last year or two, I think, he had just moved his company down there. And, and a lot of his, uh, a lot of his guy, a lot of the people that work for him had all moved down there too, because of the, the way the tax laws work, because they are, uh, you know, they're a U.S. territory, but they're not subject to the federal income tax. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Some so, things. Yeah, well, a lot of it. Well, as far as the businesses go, which you know, it's cheaper for them to go down there and 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 do business out of there instead of being up here in the states. So, uh, so they did that. But I, I think a lot of it got unfortunately got wiped out. Um, so he might be in a lot more trouble. But yeah, it just it's just weird because this guy, yeah. like you know, I can't imagine it's anything other than him trying to steer people back towards gold because that's what he deals in. Which you know, I understand, but I hate the fact that he just seems to be just so dishonest about it <laughs> because, like I said, he just he really he just seems to ignore that fact that it's like oh yeah people use this you know there's people who i know have tried to live on it almost exclusively and are, are getting better and better at it you know there's people who've made an entire cross-country trips and paid in nothing but uh, bitcoin you know so it's possible and people are doing it and more oh, absolutely other coins like alt coins outside of bitcoin they've done that so that's just even further proof that the meme is like you know it's like bitcoin is just you know in the it's in the dust essentially we're already moving past it big people are still just caught in this wake of cryptocurrency and there's no way to stop this and they're trying to put the cat back in the bag and it's it's over it's over yeah and they can't hide their they can't hide the fiat pricing they could with gold because they controlled the gold market so they always could set the price of gold and say, you know, the fiat wouldn't look crazy. You know, if it's twenty thousand dollars for our, a, a, an ounce of gold, like something's up. So they control that, but they can't control Bitcoin. And, you know, with less than 0.1 percent of the population even using Bitcoin right now, what happens when one percent's using it, or even ten percent? Like the value goes so far past where it's at right now that we can't even really comprehend it. Actually, I wanted to ask this because this question was asked at, uh, uh, as to me and then as to a couple of other people. And I'm kind of curious about it. Like what happens when cryptos no longer, it, it, it no longer makes sense to tie them in terms of fiat. So like rather than valuing coins in terms of us dollars, like what happens then? When, when there's a gold-backed national currency will be a good hard indicator for people uh, or when there is an actual, you know, forced like SDR, uh, you know, world currency. There's really no escaping that parity because people want to know how much that Bitcoin is going to be worth translatable to like, hey, if I have a thousand Bitcoins and I fly to Thailand, I can go get this much Taiwanese co- you know, th- Thailand currency and use it everywhere. You know, it's not the power of Bitcoin. That's the p- that's the secret of their power of Bitcoin is being able to just money transfer when you land somewhere and have usable cash. Right. So, uh, yeah, right. Because that, that's that's something I've been trying to trying to wrap my head around. Because like obviously, you know, every valuation of Bitcoin, including the ones we've been talking about, has been in fiat terms but what happens when the fiat collapses what happens when it's it's no longer then the fiat will be it? compared to the bitcoin like it'll be you'll be trading fiat currency you know and you'll be saying well it's this many bitcoin for this much dollars you know what i'm saying it'll be the reverse is all that'll happen the standards that, will that, be that's possible or or thing or things could get reshuffled and, and you know the the uh, what should we call it? The precious metals market could take back over again, and everything could start being compared. And you know, to well, there's already gold Bitcoin, right? The GBC, right? Or GBTC. Yeah. So you know, so any, one of those number- has to really catch on, and then it's over. Yeah, but any number of those things. A silver one would kill. Would probably, or or you know, the chances of all the currencies collapsing at the same time is unlikely. 
Um, I mean, it could, I guess it could happen. It probably should happen, obviously. But you know, uh, you know, if the U, if the U.S. Well, they're all backed by the dollar. Yeah, but if yeah, but if the if they start collab, if the US, even the reactionary anti-dollar ones are backed by the dollar being there because without the dollar there, they their function falls as well. So, yeah, but if you, you don't think if the you don't think if the U.S. yes, well, I shouldn't say if when the USD finally collapses, you don't think that. So even if it wipes out everything temporarily, that somebody else will start up something almost immediately. And I'm not talking about people. Well, there, I'm not, there. But I'm not talking about people from our spheres. I'm talking about like the status spheres, which still control the majority of the world. Yeah, you it's know, already there. It's called the SDR. Yeah. The, so 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 it'll yeah exactly. So so it'll just switch over to that. But people might you know more people might be less inclined to trust that as the uh standard i guess and hopefully hopefully i mean i'm still hopeful that the collapse will dry you know a dr collapse of any kind will drive more people into the crypto world because it's already been well, there any, and established any for long government and working you know we're already at it we're already almost a yeah. we're almost at, at almost a decade or at a decade already right and it's uh, it's getting and, and it's already expanded this far. You know, most yeah. things take, you know, so years like dynamite probably set on, you know, someone's shelf for years before they were like, hey, we can blow mountains up with this. You know, <laughs> so like, yeah, there's all always a, a learning curve with things. But I think the big the big jump is going to be when the governments really try to attack this cryptocurrency thing because they're going to lose. And well, if China's, they, China's already started doing it against Bitcoin, and, and it's I'm, increasing I'm not the sure price. What their end game is, but yeah, which is which and is, it's going to drive competition to stop what like you re make a regulation. Okay, now we have to make a side coin or a new cryptocurrency with all the same attributes as the last one, except for this one has to skate that regulation. So like they can't win, like they're in a. They're in a zero sum game and they've already lost is what I'm saying. Yeah, that literally just, anybody can create all, all they have is coin, the facade, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but yeah, but that with, with China doing that, that's just horribly hypocritical because aren't there, isn't their government the one that is actually doing the most mining of Bitcoin in the world currently? Of course. I think, <laughs> of course. I, I think, I think, I think that's what I, I keep reading that they are. Well, it's always for them, not for you, right? Like well, yeah. the, the, the slaves yes. can't mine. Yeah. And use Bitcoin, leave leave but, it to authoritarian communists to be like, well, we're going to, we're going to invest our resources into acquiring this, but none of you are going to get to use it. Well, no, they're going to invest. Don't even think they're, about they're it. going to invest their resources, not not their own resources, the people's, because they're taking the tax. Well, money yeah, to exactly. Use the, That's the point. We're going to invest. Okay, we're going to invest your resources. Yeah, the government. But don't power. you even think about using it? Absolutely not. Yeah. And get your paws, get your paws out of the cookie jar. Absolutely not. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a it's it's a mixed up world right now with with the whole thing going on with this this cryptocurrency is creating stuff at the top that people aren't realizing is happening. Like these people at the top realize what's happening. Like they read the white papers, they go, "Hey, boss, can we fix this?" And they go, "Uh, no, we can't. We can only try to co-opt it, and no one's gonna buy their shitty co-op." No, what's happening? They're out. They're they're outwardly manipulating, trying to manipulate the prices on it. I mean, that's what that's yeah. what Diamond ended up. Uh, Jamie Diamond ended up doing a, a month, a couple of weeks or a month ago. Whenever yeah, that was. or tried to anyway. Well, but no, he, got he effectively all over. But he no, he effectively did. He went out and made that he made he made that announcement where he called Bitcoin a fraud. Or cryptocurrency, I can't remember. Was it actual Bitcoin specifically, yeah. or in general, uh, cryptos? A no, yeah, yeah, it was Bitcoin. A fraud. Bitcoin. And the prices, I mean, that it had been hovering around five grand for a couple of weeks at that point, I believe, or at least almost two weeks. And it dropped all the way below $3,000, below $3,000. I think the low mark I saw was 2,900. And then, you know, the very next day, Chase, uh, JP, I mean, JP Morgan mysteriously bought a whole bunch of Bitcoin. And the price has steadily climbed since then, and is now back up at a, at above the price that it was before he made that. Yeah, statement. they're trying to they're trying to suck as much cash as pe from the new people buying in. It, yeah, but it, so they can sell off. But that, yeah. that that was my point that they're they're you know people like people at the top. That, they, that's telling me that J P Morgan Chase is either got somebody on this to just try to make them extra money, or they're sucking wind and they're having to resort to this. Why not? Well, I mean, my, why my, not both? my guess, yeah, I was I was fixing to say it's probably both. I mean, 
if they can manage, if, I mean, obviously they managed to get uh, a pretty sizable profit margin on what they did buy when uh, the price dropped. So, you know, it's a win for them regardless. Well, some some companies have these huge like, you know, divestment, uh, you know, entities within them that are sitting there and they probably have standing orders. Hey, you have a five hundred thousand dollars to if Bitcoin ever hits this price buy. And they're, you know, they probably don't have a choice in it. It probably was an automatic trigger, essentially. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Uh, I have no idea. Anyway. Who knows? Might have been manipulated. Who who knows? <laughs> well, Speaking yeah. of altcoins, guess what Steemit is going to be implementing in 2018? What's that? Do tell. Uh, they're going to be implementing your own custom tokens. You can develop your own tokens. So it's all going to run off the Steam blockchain, but you can actually develop your own tokens and use them within your own, like, community group project initiative whatever hmm cool Ooh. so they're decentralizing the blockchain essentially i mean steam is still going to be steam but uh they're trying to implement now or they're going to implement it in t- by 2018 uh steam or custom steam tokens so like uh the group i'm part of which is like a fiction workshop and a writing workshop and we're trying to start our own publishing house we're trying to brainstorm different ways that we can launch our own currency and use that to generate revenue to pay for marketing and publishing of books. Hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing like adding another more, you know, more, let's add more coins to the market. That'll, that'll make it better. (laughs) Well, I mean, you know, well, no, I mean, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be running alongside steam. So it's not, it's not, it's not the, it's not like they're offering, Brand, like it's not like people are going to be offering brand new coins. I don't even I don't know if they're going to be ex- exchangeable or not because that's going to be d- depend entirely on the exchanges. But uh, my, my uh, me and a friend were talking about uh, someone should set up a, a essentially localization packages for mesh nets, cryptocurrencies, distributed DNSs, all that, so people could go to an area and essentially set up a a shadow decentralized communication network already they are ready to go with a currency rolling it when the shit hits the fan that way the people can still trade you know do things <laughs> live that'd be legit i, I just, well, I mean, just to, give, just to give you an idea of how prevalent cryptocurrency is i mean the one of the guys i work with who is like the least tech savvy guy you'll probably meet in your life i mean he's he doesn't do computers. I, I've met. Yeah, I've met yeah, me. I'm sure, so, I'm sure you know. I've met me, so it's kind of tough. For, I was gonna say I've met me, so it's kind of tough for me to imagine a less tech savvy guy. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm pretty bad. Uh, all right, you you <laughs> understand what cryptocurrency is, and you understand how it works. I've tried Barely. explaining to it. I'm, I've I've tried explaining it to Walt multiple times. He's just like, okay, it's magic. I don't understand it. That's fine. It's or whatever. Magic. Just want to use it. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, even even he has figured out. Okay, well. In order to buy weed online without the feds sniffing around, I need to use Bitcoin. So I need to get a wallet. No, I don't understand you, how any of this works, but I can follow the steps. But you should. You should. I mean, that, if that's not a, a an indication of Bitcoin. you know universal universal adoption, I don't know what is. That is a good sign, but that's not a, that's not a good advice. <laughs> if you're going to, if you're going to you try to use the dark web and stuff, using Bitcoin has proven, especially recently, to be not a good idea because they can still actually find that stuff. If you're going to do it, use Monero. <laughs> More, I, again, not 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 things that I haven't explained to him, but uh, that's is one of those situations it's, where he's going not to even that. learn about as much as he needs to learn. But he's still, you know, for a guy that is literally has zero interest in learning about any of this shit, he's still willing to go out on a limb and like force himself to learn at least the basics of how to utilize it as a currency or as a medium of exchange. Well, I don't see how it could hurt. You know, it's I mean, sure, if you've been around long enough, you've been listening to certain people talk about the impending collapse of the u.s dollar for well decades at this point so you may just blow it off as you know fear-mongering or something of that nature 
but we, the three of us here and, and any, other, any other person who's actually studied basic economics can see that it, it has to happen at some point. That's just the way these things go. It, it's impossible to continue this type of, with the fiat currency and the, the just ever expanding the, the money supply. Like eventually it has to go bye-bye. You know, you think of the, the worst case scenarios yeah. of say like Zimbabwe or something like that, which people usually point to, but it's not. It's not that it's far fetched to happen here. It just it's not a matter of, like that's why I corrected myself earlier. It's not a matter of if. It's a, just a matter of when. When exactly? And it it may well, be nothing a soft, lasts it forever. May be a soft collapse. No one can I argue. Mean, it might not that. even be a. It might not even be a hard collapse. Like the dollar just like in balloons, you know, a thousand times over the course of you know forty eight hours. It might it may take quite a while before it really starts to dawn on people just how bad the situation is. But it's going to happen. There's it, this is not sustainable. There's no way this is sustainable. Well, exactly. Absolutely not. The numbers don't add up, and when math doesn't nope. work, it's undeniable. Well, that's not true. When well, it math, depends when, on who you're talking to. If you're talking to a nihilist, they'll argue that math doesn't exist. So you know. Well, yeah, you're right. I don't really think of myself as math a nihilist, exist, but I don't think math man. actually exists either. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if it doesn't exist, you can't use it. That's all I'm saying. That's not true. I don't know about that. I can use it. So, Andre, I want. <laughs> what's what's the haps, man? You said you had some uh, stuff before the show. You were like, man, I got this stuff to talk about. It was the okay. Haps. No, no, no. Be- before before we go to that, because yeah. like part of that was the the SMTs, the the Steam tokens. But mm-hmm. uh, Jeremy, okay, so yes, how right. can you possibly claim something doesn't exist and then also utilize it? <laughs> Explain that to, you're gonna have to break that one down to me because that that's a that as far as I can tell it's a performative contradiction. I hate that term. <laughs> and what what is it? How does Jim Jesus put it? Just because something is a performative contradiction doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. Um, because what is it? If we're in a deterministic universe and somebody, may, yeah, for, I don't want to go through that whole thing anyway. Um, I was just being a wise ass, Andre. I there's a whole there's a okay. whole there's a whole, the whole conversation around existence, what actually exists. You know, to me, an idea doesn't exist. Yeah, no, I, and I wasn't know. trying to get into the weeds, but uh, well, that, that's yeah, that's where we would end up going because it's just the whole idea okay. of like an idea doesn't exist to me, so it's not it doesn't exist. Yeah, abstract. That, that's why I also said it like that. You know, <laughs> like that's my that's okay. my version of okay, air I quotes. Got you, I, got you. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I have no problem with math. Obviously, I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've met people that have problems with math, like where I, have I where I, I, I it's I don't understand it. I can't figure it out. Well, that's what. That's but what, anyway, that's what I was starting to say before. It is, doesn't mean you can't ignore it. It does. That's the, that's the beauty of it. It doesn't mean that you can't ignore this uh, abstract. You, you, you can, can if you want it. to. Tommy's You're not going to get very far. It for years. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you know, how, you know, people with the with the issues with math, yeah, they try to change it. Just look at Common Core and their math system. You know. <laughs> like, well, yeah, but and that's but that's what I'm getting at. Like you can you can ignore it. I'm not saying you know it's impossible to ignore it. You can ignore it, but that implicitly means that you acknowledge its existence. But it, this is no. This, I, I don't want to go down this I, road. Yeah, I, I acknowledge I its usefulness. I, no, well, we're not. We're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say. Um, so I've been on the show for how long have I been on the show as a co-host now? Uh, well, officially, Longer, no, less than bump stocks were being talked about being banned. So no, no, was, no well, officially since episode 100, but we had you on for at least, you know, a half a dozen times before that. I don't remember exactly. So, I mean, I, well, I've been on the show since last year. I know that. So it's been about a year now that I've been on the show. We're getting close and, to that. Show. Um, I have, yeah, something like that. But anyway, um, hmm. I have learned a a great deal about how to operate a show and how to get things running smoothly and run on a time, you know, and what what a show should look like. And I I just want to say thank you to you guys, really from you, from, from us. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. amazingly, en- amazingly enough, your your template is has helped me to start one show and I'm going to be doing another show as well oh, nice. talking about uh, the steam blockchain and witnessing and a couple other things talking specifically about the steam ecosystem and we're going to have guests on and doing a whole bunch of other stuff 
but uh Smart. oh actually well well uh, speaking speaking of podcasting i i did i, I did want to mention i and think it just i just re- it reminded me when you said that i i got to listen to your your episode of the liberty forge with kyle uh our who oh, i haven't got to yet our, our past guest kyle turnblazer uh good stuff yep. man it was uh yeah did I, you hear me and merrick mumbling in the background no, 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 I did not. Okay, good. It was, uh, good, good. Yeah, my 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 Google phone was was uh was yeah high yeah. fidelity enough to where it didn't pick you guys up. I don't think, not really. Good. Yeah, At I, least did, I didn't. I, notice I, I didn't hear anything like that. But yeah, it was good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have to. Uh, I, it was one of it was one of my most productive shows that I've ever done with anybody. Uh, that's not to say that we don't do productive stuff here. Don't don't you know? Don't get me wrong. But uh, no, that show was solid. I was, uh, despite the fact that I was doing it on the balcony on my phone, uh, it turned out pretty well. I thought, but yeah, no, the the lessons I've learned from from you guys and from doing this show, I've been applying to the Fictioneers webcast that we have, where we talk about you know fiction and stuff, and it's a two hour long episode where we just talk about writing and everything that's going on with uh, our fiction project and our writing project that we have on uh, Steam it. But I'm in the process of launching another web uh, another webcast podcast thing uh specifically about witnesses and uh proof of stake mining on the uh steemit blockchain because uh, i mean if, if anybody here is unfamiliar with uh steemit unlike uh bitcoin which is proof of work uh steemit is proof of stake so the uh the miners actually get voted based on or their they're voted by the community and based on the their vote ranking that's how many blocks they get to solve or witness and that determines how much they're paid uh but there's i mean there's there's a whole community aspect to it and i've been ever since i started running my own witness node which now i've i've purchased a backup server finally because i had a whole whole load of shit that happened related to that but now that i've gotten even more involved in it um, I want to try and raise more awareness because right now um, the percentage of the community voting is like 20% of the active users that use Steam it. 20% of them have voted for witnesses, which is kind of abysmal. Yeah, kind of, See, it pretty much, I mean, it, it reflects real life, but I would prefer that something that's supposed to be decentralized and rely on the community as a whole or the ecosystem as a whole to have more engagement. So that's one of the things that is I want to do. Is it emphasized? What's that? Is it emphasized? Because like, I didn't really read too much into it. Like the minute, you know, I, we've already had this discussion. The minute I heard it was 80% pre-mined, I basically just, my brain went a and just shut down. And I was like, fuck this and walked away. Um, and I, I don't really, that's about all I know is it's basically Reddit decentralized on a blockchain and i've got like a lot of accounts on it that's all that's yeah, all which, I you've, which you've yet to give you know hand over to i gave so you I the can, login to the one to the one but i need the rest of them so i can vote up my witness man i gotta move up the ranks I move <laughs> up the ranks man you don't understand see no um it means well okay so essentially so you know how how mining bitcoin works right you have your miner and it it solves the algorithms and it signs uh the block to the blockchain right you're you're confirming transactions and for confirming those transactions you get a you get a portion payment for every one that you do right well witnessing works the same way except instead of it being you know whoever solves whatever block first you receive blocks based on your witness rank based on your your mining rank how many people have voted for you so your steam power is you predominantly determines how much weight your vote carries right so the more people you have voting for you the higher your rank is going to be presumably or you know the people that have a whole lot of stake in the system if they vote for you that'll bump up your ranking as well um you talking about when you post like people upvoting you no okay so um the way so that that's how that's how you you get rewards and let's say you get paid on steam it like on the blockchain normally just as an author as a witness, your ranking is determined by how many people vote for you. So it is like an upvote, but the upvote isn't determined by, I mean, it's determined by steam power, but it's determined by, by a couple of other factors that are related to the account, such as reputation score. It's a, it's a value on the chain called R shares, which is more than just steam power, if that makes sense. So every account has its own, you know, R share value and that R share value is what determines your ranking as a witness. 
uh, oh, so that, which so, determines so, how many blocks you get to solve. So people aren't actually so, so people aren't actually voting for you. <laughs> it's a it's a I'll, what do you mean? I'm confused now. Okay, so well, every so every, here's every our, account every account on Steam has an every account on Steam has an R share value, which is determined by how much Steam power you have and a couple other things, right? Okay, so, yeah. so including reputation score, whatever. Mm-hmm. When when an account votes for a witness, that R share value is added to the total number of R shares. Oh, okay. That have voted up that witness account. So there is a vote, right? but so it's, the it's total, a vote plus that. Okay, I see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The vote determines, you know, where those R shares go to. So if you vote for one witness, the number of R shares in your account is attached to that witness. Um, you know, if you vote for another one, it's attached to that witness. And everybody it's, has it's 30 two, votes. It's two. Here's the problem with Steam it. It's two. You know what I'm saying? It's too meh. Like there's something missing already. You can. That was the first thing I got when I got on it. It was. I felt that it was missing something. Something about it just felt like not right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Aside from the pre mine, what what are you talking about specifically? Because I'm kind of curious. It just, to see, it's to bulky, blocky. It. it wasn't well thought out right out the bait. It wasn't and that's, packaged and that right. is Yeah, and that's something that I want to talk about on my show because that's a, been a recurring theme among all of the witnesses that are actually involved and are trying to like improve. These people don't understand. They've got to go in and they've got to get billionaires involved that want to compete against Facebook that that are going to demand money back on their investment and demand a good product come out, not just, hey, we whipped this together. Here's the white paper. It, does, it looks like shit. Well, everything can be anything. It has to be literally... Oh, I can transfer my Facebook to this. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way we're going to get, you know, this forward momentum away from this centralized behemoths. That's it. The only way is this ease of transfer for the the, the bandwagon ears to just jump on board. Because if it's hard, if it's difficult, like this witnessing and this blah 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 blah, and all the pre mining and all this and well, all this just this is a all this. Issue. All this baggage, okay? I was, I was fixing to say. Well, I was fixing to say. Number one, the witnessing thing doesn't really mean too much if you don't want it to mean too much. I mean, as a user, you don't really have to care, right? That that as a just a standard user with the it's all with functionality. The, system, it's not, the whole system has to be cohesive, mm-hmm. and it, it has to be breathing like right off the bat. It has to be no skip gaps, like at all. You don't get this shot yeah, anymore. But you don't like, have to. There has to be no reason for people to go back to something. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be like, boom, this is the new thing, you know? And it can't be this struggle to the top. It has to be, boom, this is the new thing. I, I'm not really sure. Wait, I don't really understand. Okay, so I, I get I, what you're saying about as far as transferability between Facebook and whatever new platform is trying to edge out I, Facebook. I think Steam like, I is that. kind of a dry well. I mean, I guess I, you strike while the iron's hot and get whatever money you can out of anything. He's just mixing as many metaphors not, as he can in a short amount of time. No, no. I, I'm trying <laughs> to explain why Steam it is, is I like it. I like it. it has some good ideas, but it's like version 1.0. I'm ready for version 2 to come along because Steam it, to me, is just a bad idea because there's it's too bulky. It's too just not but, functional but right yeah. now. But again, it's, <laughs> I, I haven't heard anything I don't, good that's come out of Steam it other than People rigging posts to make other people's get on there, so they in turn, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the only thing I've seen is like clickbaity, like holy crap, someone got a ton of money for this one post, and it's it's not. Well, that, that it's was, not there, man. That was that was the. Well, I mean, how like I? Well, how would you propose to solve that issue in any other way, though? Is what I'm getting at. Any kind of platform that 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 uh, pays cryptocurrency to authors to posts is eventually going to have people gaming the system. So the game, like the gaming issue I, is a non-issue. I mean, that that's, that's just a, that's a fault that's inherent. Well, there's to always going to be game, that you're use. gaming. What I'm, yeah. what I'm saying is, is there has to be this translatability for advertisement think, for the, for the huge bulk of normies. I, I think the, I the, the agree. wide. I agree. I do. If you and if you and even a hundred thousand people are over in the corner yelling at each other, it doesn't even matter. There's seven billion people. You know what I'm saying? Like Facebook has a billion. Like we need. If you can't go in well, and at least listen, attack they, a billion, they right say off the a bat, billion, but how many? Listen, they say a billion. Oh, but, it's but, not. But, it's but, not. It's a was, joke. I was gonna say theoretically. I was gonna say in reality, how many of those are sock accounts? I mean, you know, there's. Oh, qu- quite a bit, but 
they're saying they're touting one billion active which i know is a farce they're going to get sued but no they may they may or, they may very well have that many active but how many of those are sock accounts because most of the people i know have at least two or three themselves so <laughs> you know yeah yeah because they, they may have they may have a million yeah, have a to. billion active accounts that may be, may very well be true may only be me and andre are the only two people with the original names on facebook i have <laughs> not yeah, banned. Pretty, <laughs> i still do what are you talking about oh yeah yeah that's right you still do i still have a i'm hardly ever on right. facebook you, anymore though so you I only had that account. alt that alt for a minute that's right i, no, I, 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 I don't still have my too far account, away though. from your your steam it stuff i i just have my qualms with it right now i like it as an idea it just feels too kerfuffled like the whole idea like sit down and try to explain steam it to somebody their eyes are going to glaze over it should be hey yo check this new thing out blam them go holy shit this is way better than facebook you know but what i'm saying not, and it's just not yeah i well, can yeah well not, i mean uh, i can everything. do that i can sell it to people and i have sold it to people without going into all the back end of it because the back end isn't necessary in order to use it well, yeah, now, uh, exactly. granted when people come onto the platform and they're like oh well what does this dollar mean like oh is can you, you can earn money like that and that's where the questions begin and that's where you have to start explaining things any platform that's going to pay you in crypto for the stuff that you put out is going to necessarily have people asking questions about where it comes from I, so i like I, it for I mean, free speech that's my biggest thing i like steam it for is because no matter what you can get on there and you could post the every x file the government has and they they couldn't stop it <laughs> this is true this is true I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff on the back end that most users don't really know or care to know about, which is part of the reason why I'm launching this podcast and trying to get more people aware that are on the platform. Because you have to like the the biggest positive thing about Steemit, in my opinion, is there are very few like really really negative people. Like the whole community is very very positive and very forward and open, you know, and optimistic and open minded and and wants to help everybody. Like I've never been at a social like in a social media setting where i have found more a larger number of helpful helpful people like anywhere i go i can find somebody that's willing to at least like point me in the right direction which i think is cool and i i mean obviously if you have enough people on there that will probably eventually disappear but i mean it's the it's the same like witnessing is no different than being a mod of a community right like you have more responsibility than the average user and the average user may or may not care about learning about what mods do. But I mean, since that's a responsibility I've taken on to myself, this is something that I want to like kind of help everybody else kind of understand, okay, this is the purpose that we serve. This is what we should be doing. Uh, this is what you should look out for. If anybody says they're a witness and they're doing this, this sort of shit, don't fucking don't listen to a word they say, which we've already run into that issue with a couple of people being just complete jackasses, but it is what it is. And now, as far as Steam it being clunky, I totally agree with you. And that's an issue that me, that myself, and a number of other people that I work with um, have been really just irked and aggravated over. Because it seems, or it seems, uh, I could be wrong because this is all secondhand accounts, but it seems like they're not really interested in streamlining the user interface because they want other people to fill that need. So, for example, Steam it. Dot com is a website that allows you to access the blockchain. It's just a user interface. Busy.org is another user interface, and it's, I think, a little bit more polished. It's more Facebook style. It's a little bit easier to interact with um, than Steemit.com is. So, like somebody moving from Facebook to the Steam blockchain would have a much easier time utilizing Busy.org, which, again, is just a user interface, but it has features that Steemit doesn't have, which I've been wanting them to include for fucking over a year now but uh so i mean i i'm i'm with you that steamit.com is clunky i i really do think that if if busy.org or if another user interface can can take over the the fl being the flagship and being the way people come to the site or come to the blockchain it will mm -hmm. be a lot it'll be a lot more attractive to more people if that makes sense I think I think it's I think I think the 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 core of Steemit like its code everything like the the interface so, you know how it's working the token system stuff like that I think that all has to be stripped another one has to come out it has to be like 15 20% pre-mined and it also has to have a better name 
not such a shit ass name. And uh, it'll shit be ass that. names. Your opinion, boss? Yeah, it's, I think it, it just works. is. I, it's not catchy. So I, if I it's not catchy, it's, it's dead disagree. in the water. That's why Daily Motion hasn't taken over our uh, any of the uh, weird uh, uh, YouTube alternatives. Is because it's like it's not YouTube. It needs to be like boom, just like YouTube. Like you guys got to think like the normies think, like that uh, the fourth grade reading level people. You're not thinking. <laughs> well, Steam it is on that kind of level. <laughs> I was I was fixing to say. I mean, it's clever without being too clever. Yeah. I don't even get it. Steam it. I don't even get it. Well, I mean, well, again, personal preference, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, busy.org is going to be, or at least it has been in my opinion, especially with how often, because like just recently we had an issue where uh, a directed denial of service attack happened on the website. I mean, the blockchain was fine. The blockchain is that doesn't have anything to do with the website. Website just accesses the blockchain, but busy.org picked up the slack and rocked it like rocked it. So I think what we need to do moving ahead, if we want this to succeed and be viable, which I do, I mean, I'm personally invested in it and I really like the people I've met there and the community that we've developed. But um, we need to start making these different sorts of interfaces for different ways to access the blockchain. And people have already played around with different ways to access the blockchain. Like they, uh, I don't remember who did it, but somebody made uh, the equivalent of like a Twitter uh, based user interface on Steam it and mm. or on Steam. And there's a couple of other ones that kind of seek to resemble different sorts of apps. So there was one. There's no telling what it's going to look like. Like I said, in like but, uh, 2000, like version, version five of this is going to be insane. Like, you, like well, all of these the ideas that get thrown it, out. Well, that, well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. The, what the, the, say problem, is, the problem uh, is Steam I, I, and Inc. Is not the, are not the ones doing it. That's the, that is so far been I, I'm not even talking about downfall. Steam. I'm talking about the idea, the decentralized Reddit. You know, That's what Steam it is, is decentralized Reddit. And that idea is huge because Reddit is the seventh largest or most visited site in the world. So decentralizing that is huge. The next one you need to attack is YouTube. The next one after that is Facebook. Like All of these have to be taken down. And if Steemit is the decentralized Reddit, so be it. Uh, I just, well, I see it. Try it was trying to take the name Steemit from Reddit, but I don't know. It, it, in a way, it was. I mean, it, that that was that was part of the idea. Was where it was supposed to uh, supplant Reddit and then move into Facebook territory, which it never really materialized. Yeah, but Although once the- Busy.org kind of got settled and sort of established, I think we're moving in that direction. I just think it's it's a much slower motion than. Uh, what most of us were expecting to happen. I mean, a year out and we're still, I mean, we've, we've grown our user, our user base has increased threefold, but you know, as you said, how many of those are sock accounts now to our well, credit? And what have, happens with one of these huge guys that bought it, one of these whales that got promised the moon finally makes some moves because he needs money and collapses the entire market, you know, like no one's thinking about that. And and you can say, no, blah, 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 that's, blah, blah, blah. That's, There's- that's not, no, that's not true. That's actually been a, a point of concern for everybody for a very long time. Um, but, you know, to the blockchain's credit, that's happened and we're still around and Steam's still trading over a dollar right now. So, I mean, mm. it's, it's, sur- it's survived a couple of whales, like picking up and leaving, just taking their stuff and going. So it's, I mean, I'm not, to, that's not to say that it's foolproof. You know, obviously, if all of the whales left, if Dan and Ned just pulled everything out, which I have yet to see any reason why they would, it just does not seem like a thing on the horizon. Um, if they had wanted to do that, they would have done it this summer when Steam was trading for like five dollars again. But uh, yeah, they could have cashed mean, out, and yeah, they could have cashed out. And they they the have not. They have not. Days, but yeah, they um, have not. I, I I think decentralization is the only key for going forward. Obviously, and this. Like I said, this is a, an attack on all of their systems of control because the minute the larger Reddit community finally realizes, holy shit, we can go over here to this uncensored one uh, and get paid to use it, even if it's, you know, they don't know that the the mining are on anything like that. All they know is Reddit doesn't pay me and this one does and it's not censored. Yeah, it's, well, that's well, what I'm saying. And that's, yeah. that's, what we've, that's what we've been marketing it as and that's what we've been trying to do. Yeah, that was because all the witnessing stuff and the rest of the crypto stuff, that's all back end stuff that really and truly most users are never really going to experience. That's why we've been 
me and other witnesses have been pushing so hard to try and like but if it doesn't function then the site's campaign. gonna die you well, know? yeah but the, yeah but now, now you're conflating things again because that is the point andre was at least that's what i picked up that he was trying to make before that you know most most people really don't care about it and most you know if most people who are looking for an alternative to reddit or facebook or whatever it is aren't necessarily worried i mean if they hear about the fact that they can make money most people of course will go oh that's interesting i, I need to look into that but on the whole most people who are looking f who would be looking for an alternative that's not their first or even second or maybe even third you know concern there it's it's just a matter of they just want they want the other services they're looking to replace which is, I think, goes to Andre's point about people the, not caring about most of the back end stuff. And it's not going to be till they're already using it that they're going to find out and then go, oh, well, now what's this? And now they're, they may already be hooked, you know? And then that's yeah, just, that's, that's, just that's exactly what bonus. I was getting at. Like, once when people come, when people come and start using it, they're like, oh, cool, I get to get paid. Well, what am I getting paid in? How do I take this out? What even is this? How does any of this work? And then they start asking questions of people in the, grand tradition the year-long tradition of steam it start answering questions and helping them figure out what's going on i mean one of one of the tasks one of the jobs that witnesses have or at least the one that i believe in is we sit in the help channel and we sift around through you know introduce posts or you know question posts and we answer questions we literally just go around and answer questions about steam and about the blockchain about posting account creation everything that's one of the things that we do and that's most of the, the exposure that people have to witnesses. Hmm. And that's where it starts. And really and truly, um, I know what you were talking about, Dave, where if you don't have, you know, what you were saying, like, oh, well, if there's nobody around to sign transactions, then it's just going to collapse. This whole, like, the signing transactions can be, can be done with 21 people. That's the, that's the minimum number necessary in order to keep the, the blockchain functioning at the level that it's at right now and like i said we we've tripled our user base and we have uh, two and a half times as many users as we did uh this beginning of this year active users actively posting and stuff so wow. i mean the operation could still be run with 21 people witnessing running a witness server that's it that's the that's the full amount that you need right now we have over 400 witnesses so i mean we, we have more we have more than enough witness nodes to cover everything and that's not to that's to say nothing of all of the uh, seed nodes and the uh, developer nodes that witnesses have set up in order to expand the system and make it more stable. Yeah, I mean, it's everything's growing. I mean, obviously, people are are they're smelling blood in the water on this. This is going to happen. There's for every action, there's an opposite reaction. So the more centralized Facebook gets, the more of a fight there is going to be against it. Uh, or, or not Facebook, but I, I tend to say Facebook because it's it accounts for ninety eight percent of all social media, and uh, that's that's kind of insane. Everything else is just in that two percent little window. I'll over I'll overcome your fud of steam at one of these days. I will. I will. <laughs> it's going to happen. When when yeah, yeah okay. Uh, one of these one I'll, of these days one of these days, Alice to the moon. What's going to happen is is something's going to come out. It's going to have it's going to be a Facebook clone with video on it, and everything else. It's all going to come out live, and it's just going to take everything all at once. Just boom! Well, and everybody's going to be like, "Look, it, it's there's no reason not to be on this one." That, well, um, we'll see about that. We will, and I don't say that. And I don't say that just because I'm like, "Oh, well, you know, uh, steam it, steam it, steam it." Um, the reason I mention that is because there's been at least. One, you, there's, I mean, there's been several uh, YouTube clones that have tried to come out. One that's kind of gained a little bit of traction, but even they can't handle their own amount of traffic. Uh, I know Viewly came out recently, which is supposed to be like a decentralized blockchain YouTube. Um, I don't really know too yeah. much about that. I do need to do more more research into Viewly specifically because I'm trying to get away from I saw YouTube. that. And what was the other one? BitChute and then LBRY. There's a few of them. Yeah, but, but, yeah but library is, is for. What's uh, so, didn't library for music though, or was that for videos? I have. Well, I, don't know. Videos. I haven't heard of that one. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have it on my computer. I don't. I don't mess with it. I don't do much stuff if it's not super functional. It's dead in the water these days. Well, basically. See, that's, well, that that is part of the. You know, unfortunately, that's 
the the you know the the, the different companies you keep, you keep. Like I just mentioning. don't have time to to mess with it, you know. Well, yeah, but the the, the yeah the different the different companies you keep mentioning, unfortunately, at this point, do have a huge market share because you know everybody's just drifted towards them, or they were the only thing that was actually doing it right for a while or whatever and they'd have now they've got everybody and because of the continued it's tough though yeah but because of the continued uh shrinking attention spans of the average individual as technology gets better and better and better and people get kind of used to having things on demand mm -hmm. unfortunately it it, re it is really hard for any of these companies who are trying to or, or these groups that are trying to get a product that would would rival it and you know you mentioned it i know they, i sound like i'm unreasonable but i'm no, just expressing reality no that I, I i i've i've quibbled with a couple of things you've said tonight but no on that point i fully agree with you with that unfortunately at this point it does seem that way that you need you don't just you don't need just need functional because we've had there are things like i mean just talk about facebook i mean there's been what me we there was what, oh me we is vastly functional but well, me, it's, a, it, it's a dead waste no i see more people I, I don't know man i you i think set up a couple and of at the end of the day, there. it's you no. Know, I think you set up a couple at of the groups end of the day, in there. It's still centralized, you but, know. Yeah, but there. But I'm saying there. There are things that have been out there, but because it's not exactly like Facebook and one step better, most people are like, "Eh, I still get everything over here. So <laughs> why am I going to move?" It's not even that. Okay, we're in a we're in a message spread eyeball game, right? Like I need eyeballs to see what I'm doing if I'm min maxing my time to spend it online saying stuff, making memes, whatnot. Uh, that's not happening if I waste my time on, say, Steam it. I'm, uh, my, my, my audience is going to be hundreds instead of thousands. You know, even if I just yeah, went on no, you're Twitter right, you're right. And, made a, and made a new Twitter account with, with a fresh identity, I would be better off than being even on a Steam it account that was getting good attention as far as getting eyeballs to see my stuff. And if you're selling products alongside your social media, you could be making more than anything on Steam it. So the thing is eyeballs. And until that happens, there's no reason to go to these other things. And that's the sucky part is I, as a creator, see all of these huge holes in all of the current, you know, Twitter, Facebook, whatever's like, there's no reason for me to go live. I'm not going to get paid. You know, there's no reason for me to do this or that. I'm not going to get paid. The, the, and we're at a crossroad now where everyone realizes we're getting swindled for what we're giving and either it needs to change or we're just going to not use the thing like it should be and it's going to fall apart because Facebook's falling apart. They're having to fake stats now. They're having to fake what people are doing. They're liking stuff. They're shadow uh, sharing stuff for people and not alerting your timeline and stuff. Like It's really weird what's going on uh, just for so they can keep stats up on certain things. All right. So then my question to you is this. If Facebook starts failing, if people start like divesting themselves of Facebook, where are you going to go? That's the the power vacuum that we're about to enter. It's not right. going to be Twitter because Twitter shadow bans and people know right. that in I, their gut. No, they I go, under, well, I'm going to get banned that. on Twitter, too. I understand that. But what I'm asking is if there's already websites that may not have the functionality that you're looking for but are usable and do have user bases that are already established are you not going to use them are you going are you I'm going gonna, to be are you going I'm to use the one the that gets me the most discernment? eyeballs right and i to, and i totally understand that but which one is that right now aside from facebook, facebook. in your opinion which one facebook, is that facebook oh, oh. Aside, oh well, number aside from it, facebook. it would have to be twitter it would have to be twitter Okay, aside from Facebook, uh, so all of the platforms where you have issues with the way that they're operated and that are going to crumble under their own weight. So like, for example, Twitter has the same issues that Facebook does where they shadow ban people and they can just fudge their numbers all they want. Oh, and they're running right. off DOD contracts and stuff that are well, going to yeah, dry exactly, up. Exactly. Like, like <clears throat> they're, they're smoking mirrors right now. I get what you're saying, Andre. Right. So where are you going to go? When those collapse, like is, uh, let's let's for let's just for the sake of argument, because I'm kind of curious because I want to get your opinion as far as like to get an idea of what you consider to be a good platform to use aside from these. What would you go to after that? So from Facebook and Twitter, what would you go to? I mostly spend my time on anonymous image forums, but I don't I don't know. I that I I don't too too much care 
if I'm going to put my name behind something and build up followers and all this other stuff, I kind of want to be rewarded for it. But if it's just going to be a bunch of shit posting, then I don't really care if my name's attached to it. Uh, so I don't know. I don't social media isn't and never was for me. I don't care about connecting with other people. I only care about spreading what I want to spread. So I'm, I'm kind of not the right person to ask. I only look at stuff in, in ways that I personally can abuse them. So <laughs> I'm like the worst person to you to look at it. To, or to then ask, you would, then you would, you would have a, you would make a, a you would make a solid full time living on Steam it, because you can game the system. It it bores me. There's no one on there. Like every time I've been on there, it's just like, uh, a whale doesn't like you. You got squashed. See ya. <laughs> I think one of my well, accounts posted something. Got a whale. A whale busted it up, and I was like, ah, this is how this works. <laughs> I'm off. Well, they had like fair, gotten like a uh, 240 something dollars on it and like one down vote put it down to like 30 something bucks. So I was like, oh, and shit. well, yeah, to, to be fair, that is where we're, ma we're making connections with people because that happened to me as well. And I managed to climb out of the hole and then make more money than I was making on the post beforehand just because the dude downvoted me and I had an army of people behind me like, oh, man, that's bullshit. Here you go. Mm. Uh, again, well, one of the things I like about Steam it, but. I mean, if you're if it's not if your interest isn't in community building, then yeah, I can totally see why it's it's not necessarily. No, 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 no. Yeah, if if it, you're if you're more interested in just spreading a message, period, and that's it, then yeah, Steam it's not really going to be the the. At this point in the game, Andre, you can't you. verify who is genuine, who is real, who's a shill, who isn't. All you know is who you are, and that's that's where I'm at because I know how it works because I shill other people. I pretend to be other things and I mess with other people. So I know how the game works. And uh, what I look for is for me to be able to just put something out and it be judged on its face and not anything else behind it. And uh, that's that should be the thing that comes out is. And I had a great idea for an app. Uh, I think I was telling you and Merrick about it. Uh, how it, all it is is a, an Android app or an, an iPhone app or whatever you get on it. As soon as you open up, it creates you a, or it asks you what city you're in. So you have to click, by, you know, what city you're in, you have to find it. And as soon as you do, it creates for that session, you a private key and a uh, posting key. And you post as an, a string of whatever, uh, whatever you want. And people can upvote it and downvote it or whatnot. And, uh, you can build it up from there. Uh, you could attach a cryptocurrency behind it, all kinds of stuff, but it'd be a way to uh, maintain anonymity for protecting information, uh, getting information out uh, in certain locations. But that's just the tip of the iceberg on that idea. But basically it's no one gets to pick what their name is or anything. They could say they were whoever, but it would just be an anonymous string of numbers. See, that, doesn't, have video. that, just doesn't, that doesn't appeal to me at all. Like I understand, it I understand doesn't appeal to you because you're not like some. Okay, you see the usefulness of it, and that's all that I'm caring about is being able to get information out. Hey, this dude's raping this dude's wife, or you know, like uh, if everyone in the town knows that, it's unstoppable. You know, even or hey, the governor signed this dirty deal. Deal his or picture of it. No one knows who sent it. You know, that's that's what we need. We need freedom to be able to just expose everything and not get our head freedom cut off for to it. bring back lynch mobs that, yeah but the, it, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah but the flip side of that is you have no credibility you could post post a video a uh, picture of yourself when you post with a thing that says this is me or a so live then video. what's the point of, Every, so then yeah, what's so the, the point, point of the anonymity, anonymity then <laughs> yeah you can't shut the account down like so like milo got shut down but if they shut him down he could go just make another account and be like hey it's milo and they there's no way to shut it down it's on a blockchain or whatnot or it's on that city's the, that city you know i haven't really thought yeah, no I, I completely yeah, no, 100 I, 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 out you think well right no but, I, I got you i got you but but the problem it, it is the problem a very going to run into tip is, of the iceberg the problem you're going to run into is a if it is actually anonymous like 100 percent anonymous there's not going to be any credibility to what's being said well, or you can B, always add layers of identification to any right. Like what so, you want to add is which leads, base me, which leads me to of, my which leads me to my next point. If you add layers of identification that are persistent, what's the point of the anonymity? It's defeating the purpose. So of people being don't honest. die. 
No, no. If they want to, you uh, voluntary levels of uh, 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 you know identification, dude. Come on. I, I, I don't yeah, know. that's what you engage in when you when you make an account on a on a service. Okay, imagine one that had all of it in all in one, a level in, in an enemy, like a, a community posting board that was anonymous. But you could also say, "Hey, I'm this dude," and post a picture of yourself on that account or whatever, like Reddit does. Okay, yeah, I can buy that. I can buy that. So, I mean, there's the, all, the way, the way I'm, it was, I'm just the saying way it was you add this to- blank slate. You had this blank slate that anybody can use. Oh, all I got to do is download this app. I don't have to do anything else other than pick the city I'm in and boom, it gives me a posting account and a private account to get messages or whatever, or collect coin or whatever. So if someone could be like, hey, my house just burned down, take a picture of it, send this account. No one could stop it. No one, no one, <laughs> it's just, it would be a lot better than what we have right now. And that was my idea for a, a social media app. Cause I was thinking, how do we set up one that can't be shut down? And the only thing that restricts that is the Google Play Store and the Apple uh, Store, and it's just not directly insidious. So I don't see how they would stop it. Well, not even that, but you can download it without having to go through the store. All you have to do is enable third-party apps, right? Exactly. Yeah, just so, I mean, yeah, you could you could totally you could totally load it onto your phone without even having to go through their proprietary. Well, Apple, I don't you know. Think about Apple's, Apple's you think about a normies. Apple's a little bit. <laughs> Okay. I, yeah, okay. At this point, at this point, I know enough people who are normies who know about third-party apps that I would feel comfortable with releasing something that is a third-party app. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Like yeah, to, I'm I mean, just saying, like that's I, I my idea I for an app. I'm, you delete yeah, no, I'm the not, app I'm not and dis- it erases your account and your name, and no one knows you were there. So someone could get on there, they could post on a new thread, all this incriminating evidence about something and then delete the account and it'd be gone and no one could ever identify him to it. That's the power of the app I'm talking about. It would make a sweet whistleblower app. Yeah, you could call it whistle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Whistler. Hell yeah. There you go. Boom. <laughs> All, All right, right. Get to coding. <laughs> get to coding. All right. Let's end the show on that. Get to coding guys. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say on that note, we probably should get wrapping up anyway. Interesting idea, Dave, but all right. Well, this has been a an interesting talk. I'm glad uh, Andre was prepared with some stuff to talk about. <laughs> uh, yes, but no, sometimes I, I come I, to the table prepared, not to my midterms, mind you, but to other things. That's okay. You, you better you, get to studying, boy. You, you hit the important. Fuck, you, man. Hit the, you hit the important stuff. I need my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will get there. I promise, Dave. I will I will get there. If I have to like claw my way you've learned your lesson. across the finish line, it's fucking happening. So if, yeah, if, if you don't hear Andre in the show <laughs> if, if you don't hear Andre in the show in the coming weeks, you know why. He's too busy studying. But, all right. Uh so yeah, we will get wrapping up. There uh there's another new Patreon episode out. Um as promised, I'm trying to crank out at least one a week. I already have one set to go. It's already uh, scheduled to go for next week so there will be another one coming out this the the, the latest one was kind of short the, the the next one that's coming out i actually forgot i had it's a conversation dave that you and i had over a year ago when we were like doing hmm. sh- we were doing show planning because we had donnie scheduled and his his uh his mic crapped out so. <laughs> was i getting yelled at from by donnie no, Donnie, was, Donnie ended up not being there because his mic crapped oh. out. So it ju- you and I just started doing a planning session. And then I just started going. It's like it turned into like a Dr. Phil or a Dr. Dave session because I just started going, <laughs> going on and on about. So Jeremy. Oh, yeah. So what was going on with my issues? So, uh, yeah, that one's coming out next week. Um, so, yeah. I'll pa- have to listen to it. <laughs> pa- patri- Patreon.com uh, slash Seeds of Liberty. Please consider going there and donating. Uh, it's only a dollar a show. I think gets you everything, and there's a lot more coming. So, uh, and thank you everybody who continues to donate. Uh, Andre might even post nudes. Uh, we, <gasps> yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> hey Not man, me. sex sells. All of our sex all of our lady sells. viewers. We have thousands of lady viewers, and we have Craig. So, I mean, on, Craig. <laughs> I'm sure, Craig wouldn't mind a gander. Yeah, sweet time traveling Trump. All right, I guess I will. I'll take one for the team. All right, excellent. That's good because I, I really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> um, all right, so so yeah, so pa- again, patreon.com slash Seeds of Liberty. Uh, all the other stuff, all the other links will be in the show notes. The Amazon link is still up and running. There's a new link. Uh, apparently, it's <laughs> it's still supposed to work. They they haven't given us credit for anything yet, but we'll keep trying. And uh, all of our other. Uh, 
all of our other stuff for um, all the cryptocurrencies and stuff is up there on the show notes. So thank you everybody for listening. This has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast and all of our information can be found at solpodcast.org. We will catch you next time. Peace. Peace in the Middle East. Tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military industrial complex. Antiwar, pro free market. That's Antiwar.com. Are you sick of seeing peaceful people being locked away for victimless crimes? Instead of trying to get out of jury duty, consider taking it so you can do the right thing. A single juror with a conscience can send someone home to their family instead of to a jail cell. If there's no victim, how can there be a crime? And if the judge or prosecutor are keeping you in the dark, what are they trying to hide? You can vote your conscience instead of being a pawn of the state. For more information, Google jury nullification or check out the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org.